HD Army. It is your boy Blasphemous HD. And today we're gonna we're gonna embarrass no! the fuck out of myself. Is what we're gonna do. I know you guys are happy. You guys like this, huh? Yeah, let's ruin Blasphemous HD's life. Let's make fun of the fact that his eyebrows are non-existent, but they're coming back though. Huh? Look at that shit. I grow hair fast as fuck when it's not on top of my scalp. <laughs> uh, self burn. This is literally one of my first videos, and I'm not talking about on my gaming channel. A lot of you guys might not know this, but I actually had a channel before my gaming channel that got big. Literally no! like four years old is what it is. I only put about 35 videos on there. Like everyone knows, okay? Like people tend to have this thing about slightly bigger YouTubers. They tend to think that just because we funny now, that our joke delivery has always been on fleek. Well, today we're basically gonna shoot that shit in the chest because my first videos were not really that good. I don't know if I wasn't really that comfortable in front of camera just yet, man. God, Jesus. No! I have not watched this video in like three and a half years. I don't even know what the fuck to expect. You guys get the fresh reaction on this one. I know for a fact that I privated some of my most cringe-worthy videos. I don't remember. I'll go in there and unprivate them and react to some of those for y'all too because I know those are way worse than this one. This is after I got better. If you notice, if you look in the background, I'm still in my extremely shitty roach infested apartment <laughs> I even still have my pedo stash before I started shaving that shit off without further ado man if you guys want a chance to win that PS4 make sure to follow me on Instagram the link to that is in the description down below there's no point in giving this person credit because he ain't shit and I, you know it's me let go man let's let's do no! this oh I'm scared yo my blame for my videos bitch bowling Oh, who knows who's playing the games with me or if they've checked out my gaming channel. I'm a bit of a punk ass when it comes to playing scary games. Them shits is scary as fuck. I have a video over there with one of my good friends, Nick. We played a game for about a long time. Oops. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> Y'all hear me smash the desk with my... <laughs> but this shit is so cringeworthy, yo. Oh my god. The cuts are bad. The edits are bad. The video footage is not good. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. And it's really funny, too, because I was pushing this shit hard as fuck. And no one else but me will probably ever admit this shit. I was the guy that was going into people's comment sections, real big YouTubers, and being like, hey, yeah, man, I know nobody will look at this, but if you could please just watch so one of my videos, it's my dream to be a big YouTuber. I was, I was doing that. <laughs> oh my God, I did some shameless shit to try to get popular back in the day. But it's just so funny because like back then, a thousand views on a video would have been the world to me, right? Like I'm like, oh my God. And now I be hitting like 500K to a million on certain videos. and. It's just so crazy, man. This was four years ago, yo. Like, no! we gonna keep this shit popping. It's so fucking cringeworthy. I'm go, but I haven't really got a chance to mess with it until recently. We played a game called Slender Man. Slender for short, I suppose. The game doesn't really sound like it's that scary, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm just that big of a punk ass, but that shit is scary as all hell. It's something about being in the forest, alone, and at night that scares the living shit out of me. Add in so the injury, you're getting chased by some sick, skinny motherfucker with no face. Me and Nick, we're playing Slender Man, and me, you know, I'm super screaming. It's building up pretty bad. First, we're walking through a forest. Then next thing you know, they bring that suck-ass music, and they got you exploring fucked up places that you should never explore. They got you fucking with places like bathrooms. Damn it, some of these cuts are so cringeworthy. Oh my God, it's real cool to see where I came from though. It's still mind blowing to me that I'm where I am at today, man. That's really mind blowing to me. But God no! damn, these are so bad. So bad. No! Multi-level bathrooms too, like fucking hallways, doing the tunnels. Me and my friend Nick playing. I told him when we was 
searching the scary fucking bathroom. Look, man, black people, we react to scary Whoa! shit a lot different than other people do. You scared the shit out of me, I'm kicking you in the balls. Now, I, I warned them. I warned them. We're trudging through the forest. God damn, dude, I'm, this is so bad. And my dumb ass gonna have nerve to start talking shit because this slender motherfucker, he ain't popped out. We were walking around this forest for like 10 fucking minutes. This mother, this nigga ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> slender man, I ain't, I ain't scared. <laughs> yeah, I ain't, I'm not scared. That's not even fucking funny. It's dark outside right now. Right as I start talking to shit, the slender motherfucker pops up out of fucking nowhere and he scares the shit out of everything. Whoa! He's like, it's so funny because back in the day when I put that cut in there, like, you know, the old look around, I thought that was hilarious. It's just funny how what you perceive to be funny and or good scales to the point where this shit to me is just not good. I would not watch this. Nick, this motherfucker is sitting right in my escape route. Oh, have the nerve to jump up and fucking scream just directly in my fucking ear. Mm. Me can freak the fuck out and not out of Whoa. that slender man just jumped out of me in a dark ass freaking forest, but this son of a bitch sitting next to me. Oh my God, dude, this is so cringeworthy. When I first started and I was doing this, I was like telling everyone, like all my friends and family, hey, watch my videos, watch them, watch my videos, watch them. Man, and you know what? I always wondered why no one supported me. Why didn't anyone like my videos? I thought they were really good. And this is why. They were not too, I can't even really blame people for not having my back when I first started. I mean, like, don't get it wrong. You know, if you're out there and you didn't fuck with me when I first started, you can still go fuck yourself. But I at least kind of understand now, you know? No! But yeah, man, it's, it's just really funny because like a lot of people, when you're first starting off, they're trying to push their stuff on their family and stuff, thinking that their shit's really good and it's really not because it's like this, you know? And then later on, when you do get good, the person starts supporting you, like, oh shit, this is good. And then it's like, no, fuck you, get out of here. You didn't support me when my shit was bad. You can't get shit from me when it's good. It's weird. It just isn't good. You're supposed to be my fucking homie. We'll get up screaming and shit. My mind intends to come up with all types of fucked up shit when I'm scared. I, I think anything when I'm fucking scared. This nigga screaming right in my ear. First thing I'm thinking, Slender Man is loose in the room. So my self-defense mechanism is like, okay. <laughs> Uppercut this motherfucker. It was open hand. Oh, after I uppercut him, I'm still scared shitless. But now I'm also pissed at Nick because it's his fault that I almost didn't escape to safety on my <laughs> back wall. After I'm sure enough that I'm safe, now it's time to get retribution for this motherfucker having a nerve to scream louder than a slither motherfucker. Started kicking and beating him repeatedly on camera. I come back to the computer because I knew it was recording. I was like, okay, you know, I, I got some people I ain't no punk ass, so I gotta come back and, and finish the game. Literally, seconds, seconds after I get back on the fucking screen, I walk a couple more steps and he gets me. And I'm hugging the wall again. I'm instantly on the wall. It's the safest place in the room. Real shit. Sorry, Nick. Nick. <laughs> Super fun playing Slender Man with Nick Man. He's the one who introduced me to the whole entire game. You want to check out the video because it, it all, it's all on fucking camera. I'm probably going to end up in jail. This shit's incriminating as fuck. And I would say the link is in the description, but I'm kind of new to this shit, so I more than likely fucked it up. If it's not, link to my gaming channel on my channel description. It's like the only one there. If you like my vids and you want to see some more, Show me some love, throw me some likes, subscribe. I want you guys to leave me a comment in the bottom and let me know some crazy shit that your friends have done to you that scared the shit out of you to the point where you felt like you might have to stomp a motherfucker. How the fuck do you scribe? What is a scribe? My cuts are so bad, guys. So bad. <laughs> How do you scribe? <laughs> scribe. <laughs> How the fuck do you do that? Oh. Fuck it. The moral of this story is, if shit gets real, 
in a, in a scary type of way, the last thing you want to do is become my obstacle. There's no limit to the shit I'm going to do to get over your punk ass. And when the scary shit stops, now I've got to kick your ass for being in my way when I'm trying to escape the safety. It's become my obstacle. There's no... Damn it, what the fuck is an obstacle? Shit, I fucked it. That, that, that was a funny joke, kind of. Damn it. <sighs> Shit. Well, we weren't always funny, guys. Now you see how unfunny Whoa! I truly was. I got up to, like, what? 3,000 subscribers on this channel? But back then, that was the world to me, dude. 3,000 subscribers was the, was the fucking most in the world to me, man. Never did I ever think that I'd be approaching a million on a channel. Never did I ever think I would get 600K on my gaming channel. You know what's really fucking funny? The fact that like my gaming channel and my reaction channel Whoa! are so completely different. People on my gaming channel don't watch my reaction videos. People on my reaction videos don't watch my gaming channel. That's real. Crazy, I got such a segregated fan base. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. There's no point in shouting out that channel, because I'm, you know what I mean? Like, there's no point. And there's no point in shouting me out, you know, because I'm not going to get mad at me for not giving myself proper credit in the description down below. <gasps> Twisms.